The episode is titled The Girl in the Fireplace. The girl, the yes. girl from the spaceship in the fireplace? Mmm, I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. what we always eat on this show. Oh. It connects to the fireplace. Hello? Weird. What's your name? Matt. Yeah, that's a lovely name. What are you doing in my fireplace? No, it's just a routine. Jason the doctor. Fire check. Can you tell me what you Of course I can. Terrifying. It's yeah. me, the fireplace man? That's absolutely that terrifying. That was weeks ago. That was months. Really? Huh. Hmm. Time is running out. Hello? 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 Oh, you can stand up right. I don't understand. It wants me. <laughs> you want me? No! Oh, God! Yes, you are incomplete. He's so upsetting. Should be careful. Just a nightmare, don't worry about it. The monsters are nightmares. Me. So great. Oh, some time passed. <clears throat> it is customary, I think, to have an imaginary friend only during one's childhood. Brunette. Goodness how you've grown. And you do not appear to have aged a single day. How would you be a stranger to me? I've known you since I was seven years old. Yeah, I suppose you have. Oh, she is forward. Reason tells me you cannot be real. Oh, you never want to miss the reason. I was that muscle! I don't know how I feel about that. Awesome, you know? I don't think I'd kiss a man who I'd only seen once when I was seven. I guess two times. Uh -oh. Look at this. There's a heart beating. This is so is weird. Sat in the middle there, it's like it's wire head. It's a human heart. Yikes. Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> what a strange spaceship they found. Right. Do I put the doctor with you? No more of these days. It's France again. We can see France. This is so bizarre. What are you getting up to? Oh, there's a nap. Became the imaginary yes. friend of a future French aristocrat. Pick a fight with a clockwork man. I would have met a horse. What's the horse doing on a spaceship? Mickey, what pre revolutionary France doing on a spaceship? Get a little perspective. Did he? Don't want to Probably one of my favorite lines. Yeah. How long have you been standing there? Show <gasps> yourself. Creepy. So creepy, I hate it so much. Oh, oh. So creepy. No, I'm going to be nice. And then, then it kills everyone in the room. Oh, it's just mine, isn't it? What's under the crew? Where are they? We did not have any parts. There should have been over 50 people on your ship. Where did they go? We did not have any parts. Where's that being? 50 people that just disappear. <gasps> oh, he used them. That's why there's that parts. human heart. So he used the crew. Oh. The crew? Yeah. Repairing the ship any way it can with whatever it can find. <laughs> no one told it the crew went on the menu. What did you say the flight deck smelled of? Gross. Oh, yuck. Come on, cooking. Barbecue. Oh, that makes me ill. Get out of here. 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 Get out
Promises in person. He'll be there when you need him. That's the way it's got to be. The monsters and the doctor. It seems you cannot have one without the other. Tell me about it. Those creatures are messing with history. None of this was ever supposed to happen to you. Supposed to happen? What does that mean? It happened, child. And I would not have it any other way. One may tolerate a world of demons for the sake of an angel. I'm very afraid. But you and I both know, don't we, Rose? The doctor is worth the monsters. And you are just having a knock it off. Oh, we can't we just smash through? I've put this like plate glass the other. We need a truck. We don't have a truck. I know we don't have a truck. Well, we've got to try something. No, it's just a glass, just a climb window. There'll be no way back. Such a commotion, such distressing noise. <laughs> Kindly remember that this is Versailles. I have seen your world, and I have no desire to set foot there again. We do not require your feet. require <laughs> your brain. You are merely the nightmare of my childhood. And if my nightmare can return to play me, then rest assured, so are yours. Ooh. <laughs> that was good. The horse! It's gonna break through the wind here. Seven years bad luck. It's gonna get back. Try three thousand. Can they come back for him with the cargoes? The link with the ship is broken. No way back. You don't have the parts. How does he get back? We can't find the TARDIS with that. How's he gonna get back? In saving me, you trapped yourself. Did you know that would happen? Hmm, pretty much. Yet still you came. Yeah, I did, didn't I? So here you are. My lonely angel. 
Stuck on the slow path for me. Here to the slow path. <laughs> Hello. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, aren't you? Take my hat. Fireplace. When did you do this? Many years ago. One never quite knows when one needs one's doctor. <laughs> what? Who's connection? Wish me luck. Say a proper goodbye to her. What is your problem? Why does he never at the bomb at all? You there, Annette? I don't think she's coming back. You just missed her. She'll be in Paris by six. Ah. Oh. How long has it been since he went through that fireplace? There she goes, leaving Versailles for the last time. Only 43 when she died. Too young. Reason tells me that you and I are unlikely to meet again. But I think I shall not listen to reason. God speed, my lonely angel. It's just because the ship had been named after her? Yeah. How are you feeling? Doing all right? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. This one made me so sad. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm sad for Rose because she went on this journey thinking she was special and she's seen over and over and over again now that like she is but also isn't. She's special but she's not unique. I think, if that makes sense. And then I'm sad for the doctor, because he, you know, a lot is, of, a lot is lonely and sad, and he finds people to connect with, and he wants so desperately to connect to all of them. And I'm sad for her, because she only got to have this man that she loved sometimes, and then not at the end when she wanted him. And I'm sad for the stupid king, because he, you know, because he had to share. Everyone's just sharing this everyone. This whole... sad. The way it's all connected, all through the doctor, and the way that they're all affected because of him. He comes in, and for them, that all happened in a span of a day, 24 hours maybe. And for Madame de Pompadour, that, that was, was her, her, life. her whole life. Since she was a child, they have to handle it in a day-to-day -day slow pace. And he gets and has to, sometimes is forced to just move on. These last couple episodes have been really good and also kind of a lot. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's, they don't pull back. <laughs> We've got more to go, more to see. do. With more who to watch. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. Yeah, we will. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for crying. With us. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hello, sweeties. If you enjoyed that, be sure to exterminate that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click that bell to be notified about future episodes. Alon Z. Support us at patreon.com slash fantheorytv for exclusive and early access to full-length reactions, unaired and unblocked episodes, and so much more. Spoilers. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs>